JK and Lynn. Father, we pray. Yeah, we can't wait to get Andre back out there. Um, you know, he's uh, one of the smartest players I've ever been around, and, and uh, frankly, we miss his uh, his court awareness at both ends, his communication, his ability to handle the ball, kind of play that point forward role. Um, would be a welcome sight to me. Well, from what I understand, they're 17 and one without him. Is that correct? 17 and two. Oh, well then forget I ever brought it up. Uh, Memphis is having a spectacular year. Um, when you can win without your best player at such a, a high clip, um, it tells you all you need to know. The team's depth, it's coaching, it's uh, connection. Um, so they got something special going here. They've been really impressive. Um, you know, we, uh, we're coming in here, in here tonight reeling, um, but with this opportunity ahead of us to uh, you know, to continue to, to try to get ready for the playoffs, to get guys uh, some action on the floor, both young and old, and um, you know, continue to try to, to um, put it together as we get closer to the playoffs. I, I truly believe that there's going to come a point, whether it's the last couple of games of the regular season or game one of the playoffs, where we're going to have everybody healthy and we're, we're going to come together and it's going to click. I've seen these guys before. You know, I've seen um, I've seen the core group win championships. Um, Raymond Green is stone cold winner. You know, two state championships, two final fours, uh, three NBA championships. Um, I know what Raymond's about. He's going to get his rhythm here in the next week. I know what Steph, and Clay, Andre, and Loon are about. Um, so I have uh, total faith that we're going to get get this thing going. Um, but we have to you know, get through the, the, the turbulent waters uh, first, and that's you know, tonight is part of that. Yeah. It is it is pretty unique um, to have this many teams. I mean, and I think it's a combination of um, COVID with uh, not only the absences, but the mandate uh, in Brooklyn um, and the big trade with uh, Philly and Brooklyn with superstars you know, changing teams late late in the season. Um, and then, of course, injuries are always a factor, but it seems to be um, an inordinate n number of teams that are sort of going through this uh, you know, same type thing that we are, or the section of the season that just makes no sense. And um, some teams had it earlier, we're having it right now, but. Um, it, it 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 helps a team like us that's been together for a long time, knowing what we can count on. Um, it's harder for younger teams that maybe haven't been together as long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's always opportunity, and and you know, I know. Everyone wants to look at it as a zero sum game, like you win the championship or you don't. And I don't see it that way. I think there's there's opportunity for every team, depending on the circumstances, to uh, to really make a push forward and advance organizationally. And uh, you know, for for us, uh, you know, if we can put this together and and uh, you know bring our our veteran crew healthy and and ready for the playoffs and get some minutes for our younger guys along the way and that's going to pay huge dividends down the road now obviously we want to raise a trophy at the end but so does everybody else and only one team gets to do that so i think it's you know each organization has to look at at their own 
circumstances and, and figure out what success looks like and, and do the best with uh, whatever they have and whatever's happening. Uh, about 15, 17 minutes and then we won't start the whole connection. Well, we're trying to win every game, you know. Um, so there's not really a balance. Uh, you, you always keep guys uh, out if they're if it's uh, if the training staff says that's the best way to go. Um, and until until we get clearance for everybody to, to go out there and play, we're uh, we're going to continue to to stay disciplined on the health front. And try to win as many games as we can. So um, we don't even really look at it as a balance. It's just uh, we, do, we do what whatever you can. Well, by the time I got here, the team had been in the playoffs two years, two uh, previous years. Um, they had won a playoff series against Denver. They had great experience going against a veteran Spurs team. Um, lost a heartbreaking series to the Clippers. Uh, so there was already a sense of uh, playoff experience with the group. Um, that the, you know, what we were trying to do was build on that and just uh, take the next step. I think the, the biggest step for our team was right here, you know, um, down two to one. To the Grizzlies and, and uh, the conference semis. Um, that was the key game where we sort of catapulted it to, and, and our belief um, sort of took took hold, took shape. And then from there on, it felt like we were, we were destined to, to win it. Thank you.